friends and welcome back to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel and my name is Valerie and today I'm going to be showing you how I organized the nail polish corner of my um, makeup room. We're going to just call it a makeup room. I call it a all things beauty room now. As the video goes on you will see me show uh, some collections that came from different uh, companies. That's Lights of Lacquer right there I'm holding. The Friends collection that they came out with. I did swatch all of those colors on Instagram. It came with um, nail files, stickers, all of that good stuff. But the swatches went on Instagram quickly and I didn't have a chance to bring them over to YouTube. And since that collection, there's been two more collections. So... I'm going to stop it and show you the swatches right here in the video. guys the next collection you see here is the sugar shop collection that came out in uh i think the during the holidays and i never had a chance to swatch it on youtube but here it is right now Alright friends, so I finished putting away all of the Lights Lacquer polishes that I had and now I've moved on to uh, polish pickup polishes, limited edition polishes that I purchased and I'm really trying to weed through them to decide whether or not I want to keep them, give them away to family and friends, whatever, do giveaways. Um, so they'll go in the pink bins for right now and then I'll decide later. Uh, I have to, you know, go through, put them on swatch sticks and really, really, really decide whether I want to keep them. So we're going to skip ahead to the finished corner or the finished nail polish area of the room. Um, I'm not going to get into the makeup side because that took me another two days. I'm finally finished as this video is going up. I will reveal what I decided to do maybe in a few weeks because I have a few more products to buy but you will see the finished nail section. And I am so pleased at how I organize things. Very proud of myself. So stay tuned. All right, friends. So I finished organizing the nail polish side of my room. Um, that's it for tonight. I'm not gonna do any more. Uh, right here, we have some containers that have nail polishes that I've swatched before, haven't really reached for uh, again. And they're possibly just gonna be giving away to family and friends. I have uh, my acetone that I buy from Sally's Beauty Supply sitting up there. Um, I have this Flawless Petty and for anybody who wants to know, it does work. Try it out, I love this thing. You have to charge it with the USB cord or whatever, but it comes with two of the pumice stones in there and it like, really works i mean it's like it's really 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 getting that skin off of there but anyway uh this is my little notebook here that i keep track of all of my swatch companies and the different polishes that i swatch and um i, I just try, i'm trying my best to be more organized some people do it in excel on their computers but i like to have my little booklet with me um, just like I finished organizing, another package came with six nail polishes to swatch. That's from Paradox Polish. Uh, this drawer of this particular, um, um, we're going to call it like a cubby. This particular, uh, drawer just has miscellaneous items in there that I need, you know, in case I break a nail, this stuff really does work. Um, for people who don't swatch or don't change their nail polish often, it works very well. If you change your nail polish as much as me, if you're doing like uh, blogging or vlogging or whatever you do, it may not last as long, but I don't have a problem with reapplying it. It works very, very well. Okay, so I have uh, extra cotton up here. 
um some nail glue just in case um some nails down there that i swatch or i might use on the girls trim them down um we just have fun girl days have some swatching nails down there i have some um extra files and these are from uh lights lacquer they did their friends collab and i have a few of the files from that all right haven't used those yet i have my little sticks here to push back cuticles or use it as a dotting tool or whatever i have stickers other items back here that you can use for nail art uh stickers that haven't even been opened yet i might throw that in a giveaway uh, box one day soon because i have a lot of polishes to give away that are brand new not open all right so down here we have all of our top coats and i was very surprised after organizing today i was shocked at how many top coats i have this whole roll is top coats the entire roll and behind it so i don't have to purchase anymore my problem is not knowing what i have not doing inventory in my own room and buying more and i already had all of that top coat so i will not be purchasing anymore i'm going to use what i have uh this little area right here like base coats and um no i think they're just base coats this one these three right here are mattes these are all cuticle oils this is a peel off base coat that i haven't learned to use yet i have to look at a few videos and figure out how do you use this i put this on my nails and it was still very polishy like runny it didn't like i thought it was going to dry down I, i'm not sure how it works i like i said i have to watch somebody i'm not going to say it doesn't work i just didn't know how it worked and i bought this in a polish pickup all right we have the no more biting i actually got this for my daughter gabby because she bites her nails so i'm going to start working with her nails and everything i was also thinking about doing poly gel on her nails i said maybe if i put some false nails on her nails you know she won't bite as much i, I hope that might work and i'm very interested in learning how to do poly gels okay so here we have primers you know just in case you want your nail polish to really pop you could put some white primer that one is from um essie over i'm sorry under it quick dry drops from elamia um this one is the latex barrier so nail polish won't get on your uh hands and madam glam top coats those are for gel nails over here we have zoya nail polish remover back there we have some stuff from spiritual um and i have a foot mask i have some other lotions some acetone additive to make your um you know your acetone a little less harsh it has like oils in it and everything that's from ribbit stickets i think that's how they call it uh hand and body serum from zoya i really like the serum it's really helping my hands stay soft i put it on every night uh, I have another one in my bedroom and I put cuticle on cuticle oil on after that and a little bit of lotion on my hand every night. I just keep it by my bed now. And down here is a bunch of other knit knacks and things like that. You have the gel polish um, LED lamps. I have a few of those down there, the smaller ones. I have um, acrylic, an acrylic set. I haven't used this yet. I don't know anything about this company. I don't know why I bought it, but I'm going to do some research. More cuticle oils are in there. Um, stickers and other things that I can use are down here. Glitters, stuff like that. Fake nails for my daughter to play around with. She likes to come back here and play. I have um, nail brushes, acrylic paints. Um, gels. I think you guys saw the Madam Glam gels in um, a video I did recently. If you haven't seen it, I'll link my nail polish playlist in the description box. I have all of my stamping plates in that little container there. I really don't have time to stamp as much, but I really would like to get back into it. 
I have some of my stampers there. I'm going to have to purchase some more because kind of messed those up. The Zoya. These are like a little box I have with extra brushes by Zoya. These are excellent. I love how flat they are. And sometimes if I get a wonky brush in another polish container, I will definitely use one of the Zoya brushes and, um, you know, dip it into that container and use their brush instead. So to make things easier, I took them all out of the boxes. And whenever I need them, I could just go in this little bag, get them out. All right, I had this little basket down here and it has just little odds and ends, uh, nail clippers, scissors, um, tweezers, things like that, nail adhesive tabs so I could put them on the um, nail for my daughter and she can paint nails if she wants to or even apply them to her own hands. So I like those. They don't really last long, of, of course, on your own hands, but for her, you know, she's a kid, so it's perfect for her to practice with. Uh, we move over here. I have uh, lots of my stamping polishes here. Maniology, mainly I have Maniology and some Twinkle. Those are the square ones there, the company called Twinkle. Right here, you see I have a little glam polish. I have glam polish here. I also have glam polish there. I haven't been getting any um, glam polish recently, so I said, let me take it off the wall, put it in these containers. We'll see how things go. I have all of my gel nail polishes under here, some from Orly and some from Madam Glam. And these under here are regular polishes. So you see how far back. And I got these uh, containers from Amazon. I'll try to link them if I can find them again. If you like these, you can use these for spices and a refrigerator, anything. But I love these for nail polishes. And um, I may be going through these very soon. And just seeing if anybody is interested in purchasing any of these things um any of these polishes a lot of these i got from polish pickups and stuff like that a lot of these are like limited edition nail polishes you see i had i set a cup up here never do that you see the stain never went away all right so we're gonna move on to the wall up here is where i used to keep all of my uh gel nail polishes but now i don't do that anymore uh, I needed room for all the polishes I swatched for different companies. So you got some Vapid up there. I don't know if they pronounce that Vapid or Vapid. I don't know. Um, you have some Dimension Nails right there. I recently started swatching for that company. This was their um, Valentine's Day collection, those four right there. And those were the winter collection. They're all very pretty. Um, Huella, I think that's how you pronounce that. They have beautiful bottles. And I decided I might start swatching for them. So I'll be getting a few more. Uh, Dreamland Lacquer, I recently started swatching for that company as well. So um, hopefully we can work together some more and I can fill up this area. Uh, lacquer, I'm sorry, um, London Town, USA, a London Town Lacquer, beautiful polishes. They are a little bit on the expensive side, but guys, they are worth every penny. These are some of the fastest drying, beautiful, vivid colors you will find. Beautiful, beautiful nail polishes. I, I wouldn't lie to you guys. They are beautiful. I purchased a few on my own and they sent me a few through PR. Uh, I think this is the last collection they came out with. Beautiful polishes. Um, I do have a coupon code. I'm going to put that in the video as well for any companies I do. Uh, London Town did give me a coupon code, so I'll put it there. Um, moving on down, you see I left a little space for more. Um, this is Paradox Polish. I haven't done any dedicated videos to indie brands, but I will very soon because it's some indie brands that <laughs> their polishes are absolutely 
gorgeous. I should have wore that one for Valentine's. That is beautiful. It was a part of like a scary collection they did for 13 ghosts. But that is like a perfect Valentine's Day polish. So no particular order and how I placed them. It looks like I have all my pinks and reds. I didn't plan that, but they're all there. Um, going down, all of these, some of them are thermal. Some of them are magnetic. They have beautiful polishes. Again, that's Paradox Polish. As we go down, these are all uh, Bees Knees Lacquer. So I've been swatching for them for quite a while as well. As you can see, it's really filling up with Bees Knees Lacquer, BKL. So I'm definitely going to be doing a video about them. Uh, a dedicated video about them because some of their polishes are absolutely breathtaking. For real, guys. And I really want to introduce more of these brands to you. I mean, breathtaking colors. I'll just put a few here on the screen. Uh, some nail shots so you guys can see some of the swatches. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades from that company. As you know, I am a lover. Zoya was my first love. I will never stop buying from Zoya. Beautiful shades. I did try to put these in color coordination. So going from blues to greens to purples to pinks to reds um, to neutrals and glitters and stuff like that. I, I, you know, I tried. Um, <laughs> I didn't read any descriptions. I just tried to go by sight and sometimes you put things together and they don't look anything like what you thought they did in your hand. So it's just funny to see the different shades together. Uh, but that's my Zoya collection. And I left a lot open because I know I'm going to buy more Zoyas. As all right, guys. So right next to Zoya up at the top, we have all of my Orleys absolutely love orly orly has that huge bottle i have not ended a bottle of orly yet <laughs> but i will be the first to let you know when i do because orly has a huge bottle but they are beautiful shades here are the lisa frank shades that came out i didn't have an opportunity to swatch for you and i just felt like it's so far gone like it was <laughs> That collection came and went, and I feel so stupid bringing it to YouTube after it's gone. But if you guys would like for me to swatch them, I have not swatched those yet. I would gladly do that. Also, their Valentine's Day collection came out. Look at those cute little hearts in there. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I thought that was so cute. I purchased that with my own money. Lots of these I purchased with my own money. And I am on their PR list, so I get uh, PR from time to time. But that Valentine's Day collection, I really wanted that. I think it was this, this, and this. Or this with those three. I can't remember how it went. But I bought all four together. All right, so moving on down to our Lights Lacquer section. And um, Lights Lacquer, of course, I feel about Lights Lacquer the same I feel about London Town up there. These shades, first of all, Kathleen Lights is brilliant with the, uh, the type of shades that she comes out with. They are so unique, very beautiful, unique shades. And I love creams, and she has such beautiful creams that are unique. And um, I, I just appreciate it. I really do like this shade, uh, Secret Garden. That I think that's a gorgeous green. You guys have seen me uh, swatch that collection uh, before. Uh, this one, I think it's called Angel. Yeah, 99% Angel. I absolutely love this one. This one is Nonsense or something. Yeah, Follies and Nonsense. A very strange shade. I think I have a swatch of this one. Very, very pretty. This entire collection was gorgeous. Uh, your Nails But Better. I think that's what they call it. Your Nails But Better. Every single shade is gorgeous on my skin tone. Beautiful. I got to shake them up a little bit. But they are beautiful. If you're looking for neutral or nude shades, please check that out. 
that whole collection. And I do have a um, code and a link down below. If you click the link and use my code, you'll get a little money off. But love these. You guys have seen me. This was the um, Princess and Frog collection. Um, as you go down, they did a collaboration with Friends. I didn't bring that to you guys on YouTube, but that collection came out. They had the Winter Sugarland, I think it was, or Sugar Shop collection, something like that. That's these. And they also had the stickers and everything to go with it. Very, very cute polishes. And um, as you see here, this is another brand that reached out to me. It's called Spiritual. I think I might have a coupon code for them. If I do, I'll leave it down below. They have pretty bottles and their shades are very nice. They dry pretty quickly. Um, I have, I, I've tested out about 10, 10 of the shades. Some of them I have not swatched that's on the wall here, but overall, I think that they're beautiful shades and um, they do have very nice creams and balms and just skincare for the hands. So check out their site. I'll leave that below. Every company I'm talking about, I'll leave their site in the description box below. Okay. So like I said, I just did the nail polish portion. I put away a lot of polishes. Um, I put, I told my husband, I'm going to put some more in a box as a lady at his job that absolutely loved nail polishes. And I don't mind, I don't mind giving them away. Uh, some of these limited edition, I think I may just have a blog sale. I do have a blog. Um, I might have a blog sale, might set that up or do something on Patreon and give away some nail polishes. I don't know. I got to get my Patreon up and going again. Uh, but that's just this side of the room. That is the nail polish side. I don't even want to show y'all this mess. This is the nail polish side of the room. And uh, I'll show you guys something else. All right, friends. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is my desk setup. So you see, I have the black and white desk here. I just traded this with my daughter. Um, I put this little piece of something up here. But anyway, it protects the desk. It's pretty thick. I can take pictures of my hand against it. White background. Easy to clean up. I don't even know what this is made out of. I think I got this from Amazon, but I absolutely love it. I could put nail polish remover on it and clean it up. So, loving it. All right, so I have my little phone holder. Sometimes when I do my phone videos using my cell phone, I could just place my fingers here. You guys can see the swatches that way. My hubby bought me this lamp for Valentine's Day. I really appreciate that he was listening. So you just tap the side and it has. So I think the last thing we were talking about was this lamp. My phone just died. But anyway, it has three functions. So you just tap the side here and you have, um, you know, three different uh, dimmable functions on the light I, I don't know i get settings that's the word settings three different settings all right guys it's late at night and i'm trying to rush through this video right here are the things that i use on a regular basis when i'm doing swatches and stuff and nail care of course i have my cotton rounds i have um oil i think this is jojoba oil or something like that olive oil something i have um some hand cream that I need to put on right now because this hand is super ashy. So let's do that first and foremost. Let's do that. Um, I absolutely love hand creams because they really do the job. I mean, like they really get down into the cracks and crevices of my hands and cuticles. This one smells very good too. Um, I actually hit bottom in one of my hand creams and I'm so proud of myself because I'm trying my best to take care of my hair or my my hair that too but my hands but you can see I just have a little bit to scrape around the side just a little bit so I love that I love the smell of that one too I also finished uh two of the base coat well one base coat one top coat from lights lacquer uh, the top coat is called So Over It, and the base coat, coat is called So Clean, and they are so good. The base coat really is sticky, 
everything really lays great on top of it your nail polish does not move the sew over it top coat dries very quickly and it looks like glass my polishes i don't just use it with lights lacquer i use it with everything that's why they're going i use them with everything you need know when they get like really goopy it's just like a little bit left there they're real goopy at the bottom but they lasted me through all of those swatches and I would definitely repurchase. They're very good. So I just wanted to show you guys those empties. Um, also I have my brushes up here that I mentioned in a video before. Brushes just to clean the sides of my fingers and stuff like that with uh, acetone when I make a mistake. I got uh, my little dotting tools and everything. And honestly, and magnets. Honestly, I can put these away for a while because I'm not going to be having a chance to do any Dada cures. Um, I bought this from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is a, a nail polish dryer. You're supposed to hold it away from your hand about a certain amount of, uh, what does it say, four inches, something. Anyway, you're supposed to spray each finger. I don't see where this works any faster than the quick dry drops or anything else so i'm going to use this up it's a, a lot left because i didn't really notice a difference but i'm going to use it up and i don't think i'll be purchasing that again it says uh finishing spray quick drying non-smearing but I, I don't see where it works any faster than the zoya quick drops or the elamila quick drops or um anybody else's so i don't know Anyway, so I have in here cuticle pushers, things like that. I bought this from uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. It is a little pump, and you can lock it, and you can, you know, put your cotton swab on top. You press down, and you get your acetone out of there. So I just pour from the big gallon into here, and keep that right here in my little caddy. Um, I have some glass nail files. I try not to use this one is from dharma lacquer i try not to use the gritty nail um, files if i could possibly help it but sometimes you need them sometimes you do and i have um a few other sizes of the uh nail files um I have clippers and stuff like that in there uh little things to make designs on the nails uh do you be surprised what you could do with um, mascara wands and all that other stuff uh lipstick brushes and stuff I, I use everything okay so right here what i'm using to nourish my nails after i finish doing a nail polish tutorial or a lot of swatches for a company in a day uh before i go to bed at night i will you know take all of the uh nail polish off and prep my nail for the next day or the next time i'm going to be swatching so i'll use the light slacker nourishing elixir it has hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin c or i'll use the orally nail Trition. both of these make your nails look very strong and pretty um you could just wear it you know every day it's like a little just something over the nail you know i would never suggest for you to just walk around with nothing on the nail i've learned my lesson i keep something on my nails at all times yes it's, it's moments where i just oil my natural nail and you know stuff like that but usually i have something like right now i just have on a clear i don't know if it's gonna focus i just have on like a clear coat and I've been swatching all day. So I made sure to put on a clear coat. Um, I think I have on, at this moment, I just have on this LA Colors. This came from the dollar store. You can use this as base coat and top coat. It came from the dollar store. Excellent buy. Things uh, lay very flat and flush on top of this. So as a base coat, it's excellent. I haven't tried it as a top coat because I have my favorites. But as a base coat, it works very well. That's LA Colors. Um, top coat favorite at this moment is Out the Door. I really like that. I have my Sassy Sauce. This is one of the indie brands. Uh, this is their matte 
top coat and it works very well. I've been doing some uh, swatches with the matte top coat. And this is from Glisten and Glow. This is called a Glitter Grabber. I absolutely love this at the moment. This is my favorite. Um, you can put like a, a rough glitter on your nail, something that has a little um, texture to it. And if you want it to lay a little flatter and look a little glassier, this will do it. And it doesn't leave a residue or anything. It dries clear and then you can just put regular top coat over this. But it looks beautiful. Um, another company, I think that was Vapid, sent me their like rendition of the glitter grabber. It's called Smooth AF. So I can't wait to give that a try and see if it works better than this. But right now, th this is awesome. All right, so I have magnets. This magnet came from Cert Colors. Very nice magnet. Magnet at the top. You can see that magnet at the bottom. So you can get that pretty like cat eye look. And I have a little circular magnet there that I keep in there. And of course you have your buffers and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. I also have the Zoya Natural 5 collection sitting right here. This is my next swatch. I am very far behind uh, with this stuff. But this will be the next swatch. I told you guys about it in the last Zoya video when I did two or three collections together. I am behind with Zoya. I am so sorry. But there it is. I had to take care of business first, guys. Got a swatch for the companies, I promise. And then uh, Zoya's PR. So I, I got time. I got time. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys as soon as possible. It's up on the desk, ready to roll. So... That is it. So my nail polish um, area is very, very nice and neat. Uh, I have to do the makeup side of the room and that's going to take a little bit more patience and I have to put on music and psych myself out for that. But um, I am very proud of this side of the room. Very proud of this side. That's as far as we go. Just this side right here. And I'm sorry I'm not in the video right now, but my hair is a mess. I've been cleaning up all day, been cooking. I'm quite sure I have spaghetti or something on my shirt. So I just wanted to throw up a quick video to show you guys what I was doing. And, you know, share with you guys a few products that, you know, came out that I might have swatched on Instagram. Like I told you guys, sometimes things don't make it here, but they are on Instagram. So please go over to my Instagram account and follow me because uh, for my nail polish. If you're into makeup, I have another uh, Instagram account for makeup. That is the Mind Catcher on, um, well, at the Mind Catcher on Instagram. And for nail polish, it is at lacquer underscore is la underscore life lacquer is life so i'll leave both of those links down in the description box so you guys can check me out and i will also be doing the tortoise set manicure i have the directions here on how to do the tortoise shell manicure i haven't forgotten i'm going to do it i'm excited about it it's sitting right here i haven't forgotten all right, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. If there's anything else, any other brands, um, I know I didn't show you all of the brands, but if there is another brand you would love to see, let me know. Or if there's um, some colors that you saw here that you want swatched, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section. I'll try to get that done for you. Talk to you next time. Bye.